hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys if you are facing any kind of issues just let to the windows update so this video is for you i will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue easily in windows 10 and 11 so when you go to windows then go to settings and inside here if you are facing any kind of issues just while checking for update so what first of all you need to open the services here and we need to make sure that the windows services is running press w on our keyboard and look for windows service windows update this one and make sure it is running if it is not running make it to automatic start the service you can also restart it once now once we have restarted and its status is running inside your system check back if that is working for you or not if still not guys let's move on to the next method in the next method we need to open the cmd as admin and we need to hit these commands first of all this is a command to repair the windows windows corruption related to windows update just i will give these command into my description box next and it will automatically try to resolve your issue this tool will detect your issue and will fix your issue just close this and check back if that fixer issue or not so if you have installed the windows 11 on the hardware that is not supported on the unsupported hardware so you might get this issue get the near windows of the window stay up to date error so when we click on search more options learn more the microsoft will show you all the details and policies here so in that case guys you are not able to install the latest update on your windows winbar 22 s 2 is the latest for this version this hardware but if you have the supported hardware we can run these commands here these command will basically stop the services once copy and paste all the commands just need to right click and it will be copy enter all the four commands are executed now go to this PC basically we are going to delete the cache go to windows then we need to go to the software distribution this one and inside here select all of them and simply delete yes
once you have deleted all of them guys you have to restart your system you have to restart your system and again you need to run these command in order to start the services which was stopped before just you can right click simply and all the commands will be executed you can run these commands one by one but you can also run all the commands in a once hit enter if anyone is stuck now all the commands are executed successfully now check back again if that fix your issue or not it should fix your issue guys since it will create the new update files on our windows so i hope guys this video is helpful for you if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching